Hi dear friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. Yes, the answer to the question, uh, I mean I got only one response uh, unfortunately and I wouldn't know but this is open only to subscribers and friends. My question was name the two brothers who played as all-rounders for New Zealand and I would like to na have the names of both the brothers who actually represented New Zealand. They were all-rounders. Uh, till now I have not got any correct answers from anybody. One person has been trying it. He's from the general public I reckon. I wouldn't know. Well, uh, right now, you will be knowing the information uh, through my bulletin, which would be reaching only my friends and subscribers. Thank you. Now, uh, let's, let's head towards uh, the cricket show today. As far as the cricket show is concerned, uh, I just have some breaking news right now. Uh, I'm taking you down to Grace Road in Leicester. As you know, uh, Leicestershire actually uh, won the French Life T20 Championship the other day. And today, they have lost to India by 15 runs. So that makes it India 3 out of 3. So after the test series reverse that India had, India has been having a, on, a, on a real winning spree. They have won three matches. They beat Sussex. Then the other day they also beat uh, the other team. I wouldn't, uh, I'm not really remembering it right now. And then today they have beat Leicester Shine. This was a 2020 game which was played. So this will give a, a India, Indians a lot of confidence uh, when they go into the first 2020 match which would be played. As far as Indian innings were concerned, Indians made 161 for five wickets of their 20 overs. Today it was uh, the openers uh, who had a good start. In fact, Ajinkya Rahane, who was uh, uh, drafted in into the Indian side, uh, really had a good hit. In fact, he hit a quick 19 of 13 balls with three fours. He was impressive. Uh, Parthiv Patel contributed 40 of just 31 deliveries, six fours. He was also good. So the opening start was very good. 52 runs were added uh, in uh, just the sixth over. Dravid contributed 29 of 31 balls with two fours. Virat Kohli made 13 of 10 balls with one four. Rohit Sharma uh, chimed in with 29 of 21 balls, 1-4 and 2 sixes. Um, Suresh Raina was unbeaten on 21 of 14 balls with 3 fours. And Pravin Kumar bowled not out or not. 161 for 5 uh, India. And as far as the bowling circuits are, Matthew Hogarth got taken for runs. 3 overs cost him 31. Abdul Razak 1 for 24. Andrew McDonald for the pick of the ballers. Absolutely economical. 3 overs, no maidens. 1 for 15. Tremendous bowling phase. He also bowled well in the other day. Uh, in the finals match. Naik bowled 4 was 1 for 20. Uh, Cobb, who was the man of the match, uh, again continued to impress 3 overs, no maiden, 2 for 22. Uh, White was a bit costly, 4 overs, no maiden, none for 41. As far as Leicestershire were concerned, uh, they started off, they lost an early wicket of Cobb today. It was clean bowled by Pravin Kumar for 4 or 4 balls with one, uh, or with one boundary. Uh, Andrew McDonald was the highest scorer. Uh, he scored um, uh, He scored in very quick fashion, 44 of 34 balls, 5 fours and 1 six. Uh, and uh, Jefferson made 20 and then and then uh, th there was a bit of a lull 83 for 4 and when uh, Nixon was out uh, clean ball by Mishra for 6 it was 94 for 5 in the 14th over uh, and it looked like um, um, like India was trying to um, uh, getting a strangle uh, strangle hold on the game but well Abdul Razak had other ideas he come came in and crashed 37 of just 24 balls 5 fours uh, before Ashwin came in uh, and actually uh, got the very, very vital wicket of Abdul Razak because, because Abdul Razak was really going like a train at that particular time. But uh, Ashwin actually put a span into the works of Leicestershire by snapping Abdul Razak's wicket. It was caught by Kohli Bold Ashwin, 37 of 24 balls with 5 fours. A brief flurry of strokes from Abdul Razak there. After that, the other Leicestershire batsmen couldn't really uh, you know, cope up with the likes of Vinay Kumar, who had good, good analysis. Four rows, no maiden, 29 runs and three wickets. So that was some good bowling from Vinay Kumar. Ashwin also impressed uh, four rows, no maiden, one for 23. Um, other than that, uh, I'll be talking about. And the final, uh, they, they couldn't really get over the... Uh, they lost this match by 15 runs, 146 for seven they finished with. White was not out on two. Boyce was not out on four. It was all over for Leicestershire. So Leicestershire uh, losing this match to India by 15 runs. Uh, Pravin Kumal 4 overs 1 for 26. Varun Arun was very, very costly. He's the fastest bowler uh, in India currently. And the way he bowled, hitting the 150. But today, uh, probably, you know, he was, uh, he was the first time he was playing in England, getting used to the English conditions. One can really, really understand that. But Varun Arun was pushed into, the, into it today. But, well, uh, he had a very unforgettable experience. Three overs went for 34 runs, unfortunately. Amit Mishra was very, very impressive. Not only picked up wickets, he also was economical with his bowling. Four overs, no maiden, two for 19. Uh, but I would say credit to Vinay Kumar and Ashwin who came in uh, and really stuck to their task. And after Abdul Razak had uh, crashed a lot of boundaries, they came in and they bottled up and they didn't allow the Leicestershire batsmen any room and they bowled splendidly. Vinay Kumar, four overs, three for 29. Ashwin, one for 23. Roy Sharma wheeled his arm over for one over for seven runs. 
146 for 7, Leicestershire finished with India winning this match by 15 roads at Grace Road in Leicester in the last 2020 match before the real 2020 start between in India and England. And well, so India will be very confident now. They have got uh, three, three victories under the belt. Uh, on the trot, uh, they have three victories. So, well, uh, other than that, uh, this, so this was a light cricket update coming up from Grace Road, Leicester, where India have beaten Leicestershire by 15 runs. Now, I'm going to take you down to the tour match. Today was the first day of the Pakistan tour of Zimbabwe. So, Pakistan playing the first tour game today. The first test starts, as you know, on September the 1st between Pakistan and Zimbabwe at Bulawayo. And, well, Zimbabwe did excellently today. In fact, Pakistan were the ones who actually batted first and they were bowled out for 222. Now, let me tell you, Zimbabwe would be really proud of this because they didn't have a front-line bowler. There was no Bran Vittori. Uh, there was not the other bowlers like... Uh, uh, the uh, Waller, the other bowlers who were there, Malcolm Waller, uh, no one was uh, really available. It was all a second string bowling attack and Pakistanis, uh, Pakistans did not uh, put up a good performance. There were 222 all out. Uh, the top score coming from Azhar Ali. In fact, that was the part they lost early wickets today. Uh, Mohamed Afiz was uh, claimed by Rainsford for a duck. So, in fact, he was out in the first over itself. Tofi Kumar was uh, gone for nine of the bowling of uh, Tripano. But Azhar Ali and Yunus Khan stitched together a very good partnership by 102 runs with Azhar Ali contributing 67 with 12 boundaries. So, this was the first day of this uh, two-day match which was happening here at Bulawayo Athletic Club. Azhar Ali made 67 with 12 fours and Yunus Khan contributed 71 with eight fours. So that was the good thing about Pakistan. Other than that, Misbah Ulak was a failure for a duck. Umar Akmal was cheaply dismissed for 9. Uh, Adnan Akmal made 24. Saeed Ajmal made 18. And 222 all out for Pakistan. Uh, Rainsford was uh, very good. 9 was 3 minutes, 1 for 21. 2 for 59 for an NQB. 3 for 31. Greg Lamb, the Radha Mospinner, was very, very impressive. Uh, picking up some uh, wider wickets there. As you know, Greg Lamb never played in the uh, match against Bangladesh. But he's a very good off-spinner. He's a good handy bat too. In fact, uh, he picked up 3 wickets and he picked up the... We got a Yunus Khan too. So he had 3 for 31. Mushang with none for Eaton and 2 for 7 for Waller. As far as Zimbabwe were concerned, well, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, in, in fact, um, uh, Zimbabwe, all, uh, in, in fact, Zimbabwe definitely uh, bowled Pakistan out for 222. So that was a good thing to happen. Uh, but, uh, well, but still, I think Zimbabwe should have the credit, even though they were bowled out for 225. To bowl out Pakistan for 222 was quite a task, which they did. And Zimbabwe themselves on the first day were all out for 225. Uh, the highest scorer being Chibaba, who made contributed is the opener. 70 with 12 boundaries from Chibaba. Greg Lamb, as I said, is a handy bat. 40 with 5 fours for, uh, for Lamb. Greg Irvan made 23 with 1 4 and 1 6. And Waller made 32 with 3 fours and 2 sixes of 34 balls. Uh, 20 coming in from uh, QB. And uh, Tripano was 14 not out. 225 all out. Uh, Zimbabwe in reply to Pakistan's score of 222. So tomorrow is the second day. Uh, bowling, well, they had all rookies there. Sohil Khan, 17 overs, 3 minutes, 140. But the most impressive was Junaid Khan. As you know, he has been bowling well in the English circuit too. But he has been a bit costly. 18 overs, 1 made in 62 runs and 4 wickets for Junaid Khan, the left-arm seamer. Aizraz Chima, 8.3 overs, 2 minutes, 1 for 20. Yasir Shah, 236. Said Ajmal, 243. Mohamed Afiz, 1 for 16. Uh, so that ends up my cricket happening show for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. As I said, you would be getting the answers for the two brothers who represented New Zealand uh, as uh, brothers, um, uh, and they were two, both were all-rounders. Uh, I got a very, as I said, I just got one response in general public, but this is open only to my subscribers and friends of Cricket Happenings. So subscribers and friends, keep an eye on this. Um, probably even maybe tomorrow, uh, I'll be shooting out the bulletin to you all so that you know what exactly is the answer. Uh, that uh, and you can still still shoot in the answers. You still have time. The whole day is left with you. You can still uh, try to get a clue and try to uh, you know dig into it and see whether you can give me the answer. If you give it, that would be great. Otherwise, you'll be getting the answers tomorrow um, uh, through my bulletin. That's it from me, your host Ram, for the cricket happening show for today. This is Ram signing off. Thank you.